YouTube, it's your boy D give you this week's episode of Love After Lock Up Episode 6 boy. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's start with with Marcelina and uh Brittany. You know, they at ho they at the hotel, you know what I mean? They're in the hotel. And Whitney's looking at the newspaper, trying to find a place to live. Because apparently Musley is out there at the hotel because Musley's um, place does not accept felons. You know. So he decided to at least go one out so he could find a place for both of them. And she, they, she's finding it on the you know, newspaper or whatever. And Marcy's like, you know what? You got this thing called the internet, baby. You know. So you can't see why Musley is like concerned about Whitney's obviously. Uh, you know, her, her friendship with the with the felons, you know, because it's going to be a problem. But still, Muslim is still is a, is a controlling freak. Always telling Britain what to do with her friends. And he just comes off as a bully. You know what I mean? He's controlling, narcissistic, all that good stuff. But apparently, Miss Brittany, Miss Brittany, I thought Brittany has got some little, he got a little mic, she got a little mic and a, got a little player. And... And she inviting Amanda coming through. And Amanda's coming looking good. And uh, Brittany's like, you know what? She's feeling Amanda and tells Amanda about Marcelina. And Amanda's like, really? She, you know, apparently, because remember, Ma, she doesn't, Amanda doesn't know about Brittany's uh, Latino, Latino heat. And she's thinking she's all straight lesbo, all about the kitty. But no, she ain't. Brittany ain't about the kitty. She she likes some of the pipe meat. So you know, she's feeling some type of way, Amanda. But Brittany's like, come on, baby. Let's go shopping with you. let's go in the pool. And she's in the pool. You know, Brittany's feeling all top of she's feeling all like I want you, girl. I'm telling Marcelina. We're gonna have three some and it's gonna be going down. And I'm like, I say, Brittany, I see you, girl. I say, I see you. I see you. Play on, play on, but remember, Brittany, you know, Marcelino's, I don't think he's about that lifestyle. He's very controlling. You see how he is in the last couple episodes. Very controlling, demanding, and I don't, I don't, he ain't going to go for that. But Brittany's like, but she's like, I'm not really lying. But you're lying because you ain't really talk him about Amanda. But anyway, I'm here for it. Let's go get it. Next, we talk about. Caitlyn and uh and Matt, you know, they're at the uh, they're at the diner, and Caitlyn wants her mother to see her boyfriend, whatever. We found that Caitlyn's mother is, is a former drug addict, or I think I don't know if she's a former drug addict, but apparently she wasn't part of Caitlyn's life because she was on drugs or whatever, and you know she's been waiting for her. For her for 20 minutes. So they're sitting down. Drinking coffee. And Matt's being just a typical boyfriend. Kind of like, you know, supporting. Saying, hey baby. You know, I want to see your mother. How you feel about it? She's like, I really want to meet her. And she, she's, she's getting anxious. Because she's she's late. Her mother's late for 20 minutes. She's getting angry. You know. Like, you know what? If you don't show up. And Matt's like, what you want to do? Because I want to go. And Matt's like, well, whatever you want to do. You can go. Could go, baby. You could go. Whatever you want to do, you could go. So man's like, with his, jip, his tooth jipped out, he like, I, we could go. And soon as she leaves, we TV. I see you. We see. She suddenly pulls up. I bet we TV told her like, wait, wait, you know, hold on. We'll tell you when to come in, man. I see you. We TV. And she she shows up. Clayton slams the phone on the table. And I'm thinking, Lord, I hope it ain't the, hope it ain't the iPhone. I hope she ain't paid no thousand dollars. Woo! Because I ain't going to smash my phone. This is probably, maybe it's a bitch of PCS phone. Maybe it was an old phone, so I don't really know. But she's smashing the phone. She look at the mother. And she's like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I'm out of here. And man's like, consoling his girl like, it's okay, baby. It's all right, baby. It's all right. And I'm like, and I'm like, Caitlin, you concerned about, you worry about, you have a problem being abandoned by your mother. But yet, you deal with men who's a addict. He's a drug addict, well known. 
He don't like to be controlled. Remember that? He gonna abandon you. <sighs> anyhow, anywho, anyhow. Let's get into it. So, Caitlyn tells, you know, her mother the man's cute. And they have a little moment of embrace and the hug and all that. And I feel like this. I'm gonna keep it real. I just feel like, the, you know, Caitlyn needs to focus on herself. Need to just get herself together. Because being with Matt is not gonna help. Matt has his own issues. He said issues with his mother. He he's not even about. He can't support you because he don't have. He don't have. He can't even support himself. He's mentally, emotionally not ready to t take on that role. He's just not. And Kate's like, you know, he's there for me. He's hugging me. Mm. He's emotional. Caitlyn, baby, you think I do better? Live in your truth. Get the help that you need. I pray for you, girl. Anyhow, anywho, let's get into the next episode. Yes. Uh, let's get into Tracy and uh, Clint. You know, Clint after he, after he put it down on Tracy, she he's excited. He got some of that good good kitty kitty good good kitty kitty good good. Bam bam bam. He's excited, and she's you know Tracy's wearing that little baby suit, that purple baby suit. That look at you. <laughs> <laughs> this look like a Barney baby suit, yo. She look like she she been born hard had a whole life. I was like, oh god, I hate to judge, but oh, she, oh my god, I couldn't look at Tracy anymore. I was like, oh my god, she been her life has been hard, baby. She got a whole life. <laughs> anyhow, anywho, Clinton's, you know, she's like, I'm waiting. She's, you know, Clinton's waiting to get married, and those that those that she's like. No, she, 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 he tells Tracy, look, I only got $500. And Tracy's like, $500? Give him look like, $500? She did a, she did a list on him, like, $500, baby? That's what you think I'm worth? It's $500? I give you this good stuff? You think I'm only worth $500? She didn't say her dad. She gave him a look like, what you say? Shoot, I'm worth more than $500, baby. Worth more than five hundred dollars, <laughs> and she's like, well, Clinton's like, well, you know, if it costs over five hundred dollars, you get what you get whatever you like, and hey, and we get now, and now I won't give you whatever you I like. Hey, baby, hey, take this credit card, boo. Take this credit card, debit card. If it costs over five hundred, costs a little over, baby, you get it. I got you. I was like, oh my god, it's quick. I said, quick, it's a new Scott. <laughs> Clint is the new Scott. <laughs> He's the new Scott. <laughs> Just gave me the credit card and everything. <laughs> Boy, let me stop. Hold on. <laughs> Yo, Dre, you not anybody. You know what? At least you know what Clint's case is. <laughs> so, <laughs> at least in Clint's case, he actually got the kitty. It cost him a lot of money, but at least he got the kitty. My man Scott. Who spent nine over ninety thousand dollars? He spent over ninety two thousand dollars. My man Scott spent over ninety two thousand dollars. Why didn't die this man? And he ain't got the kitty yet. <laughs> oh, at least kid, you got the kitty. It, it costs you some quid. It costs you at least a thousand dollars. You actually ahead of Scott, boy. You ahead of Scott. <laughs> you ahead of Scott. <laughs> Woo! Anyhow, anywho, boy. But that ain't, that ain't the point. He waiting on the wedding for her. He had to also waiting for him. He waiting on waiting for his boo. He waiting all night. He out there all night. And he's like, the mother called him and said, what's going on? He said, no, uh, she ain't showing up. And Clinton's waiting. He, he making excuses talking about, you know, you know, women take a long time to get ready, you know, you know, you know how women are. They take a long time to get ready, you know, I'll wait. He gonna wait all night. I said, oh my God. Oh my God. Tracy played him. But we all saw it. We all saw it. She's taking notes from Lizzie. Tracy's taking notes from Lizzie. She's taking notes from Lizzie. Lizzie gave her the handbook and said, girl, take this handbook and read it. Word for word. Word for word, and baby, Tracy with the book that this with the playbook of Lizzie got, got, got the card and everything, got the card and everything. He waiting, my man waiting. Gave her, gave the man, gave her 
on a credit card. Don't even know the girl long enough. I mean, she might only be out for two days, three days. And say, here, baby, whatever you want. Got a hair did for three fifty. Bought some boss that cost them, you know, what, two hundred dollars for some board of panties. That ain't even like gold panties. You can get that at Walmart, baby. You can get some panties and some holes in it. It's all right. You want, you want, you ain't, man, come on with it. Took her to restaurants, diner, and give her a credit card that your mom told you that. You don't come and spend a thousand. My God, Clint, man. And that man be married three times. <laughs> but at least, I, at least I said to you, Clint, I'm going to give you a high five, bro. High five. At least you got some kitty out of there. At least you got some kitty cat. Oh, like, it's not you got nothing. <laughs> you know what? Well, you know what? Let's go to Scott and Lizzie right now. Let's go to Scott and Lizzie right now. Let's go to him. Since I mentioned Scott and Lizzie right now, let's go, let's go and talk about Lizzie and Scott. Let's talk about Lizzie and Scott. My man Scott. With that messed up <laughs> makeup. He looks so... Oh my god, I mean, that makeup will get me more disgusting. He... <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just dying. He going to the rest. He going to the dinner. He taking this to dinner. This is the dinner. You know Lizzie's going to dinner. She's like... She want everything on the menu. She's on. I want some oysters. Dozen oysters. I want shrimp, this and that, just all over the menu. And my man Scott going, damn girl. He look at himself going, I ain't got the money, boo. I ain't got the money. He look, shit, though. Damn. I hope this car ain't declined. God, I'm broke. Cause he remember here, he got no, he got no savings for nothing, for nothing from his own son. He got no savings. Forget retirement plan. My man Scott can't never retire. Scott can't never retire. He's gonna be working for the day he die. And then Lizzie's gonna move on to somebody else. <laughs> My man ain't got no retirement plan. He working for some he 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 spent all his money. So now he Liz is looking like, well, I just need to eat, you know? You know, Scott, you know, Liz is Scott's like, it's a lot of food. She's like, baby, I just wanna try new days. Look at me, baby. Just this is for you. And then and when the when the bill comes, my man give Scott gives way to the his car, and way the way the riches in is cool. She did all oh, cool like, sir, sir, your car is declined, and this is going decline, decline, decline. Yes, Scott, your car is declined. Like your chance getting the kitty cat from Liz, it's declined. <laughs> It's been decline, my brother. Decline. Decline. Your dreams are decline. It's been decline, my brother. Decline. So, 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 Scott, you know, so, you know, Lizzie, Dustin, she, 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 oh my God, Lizzie, Lizzie, go. Why well, I keep telling you, why you use up a book? How you get these men to spend all this money on you? Cause baby, I need to be like you. I need to be a Lizzie. I might need to get a sex change. You know what, man? Give me a sex change. Put me in prison. You know what? I'm in the wrong position. I'm working too hard. I need to just give me a sex change and go in prison. Shoot. Let me let some man spend money on me. Let some man spend some money on me. <laughs> but really though, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whew. Cause my man, my girl Lizzie, tension on stop talking about. You got me on drugs. You knew I was on drugs. You named me. You, you see what you did. You got me on drugs. And Scott said, "You know what? I, you know, I did it to save you. Cause the second day when I met you, you hung out, you strung out. And I guess Scott was like, I saw a relationship with you when you strung out. You were passed out. I could be the savior." Whore. I could be Captain Sable. He, he's, he played the role very well. <laughs> oh my God, Lizzie is Lizzie's just too much. I was like, yeah, he, I'm like, girl, he, he obviously, yeah, he might give you the money to take the drugs, but maybe you ain't got to take them. You, got, you choose, you chose to take them. But anyway, go ahead, Lizzie. Do you, do you, baby girl, do you? And then Lizzie, this is, I, I, don't, I don't, man, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? She did, she did the classic. 
No, I don't know if I want to have sex with him or not. You know, it might be, it might be six months, it might be a year, it could be five years. Cause I'm just not ready to get up the kitty get I said, ah, ah, because I'm trying to save myself, ah, ah. And then she's, and this is even it. So I remember men used to play me. I I used to go for beautiful men, men that look basically, you know, gorgeous men. But people playing me now. I'm playing you, Scott. Like a violin, she playing you like a violin, like a sucker. And this guy was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, boy, if you don't ever stop. And you know what's got the case? I, I think God, he don't got young kids, because, man, I, you know what I feel sorry for his son? Because his son has no future. There's no savings. He got, Scott, his son, Adam, going to have to support his dad for the rest of his life. Because his dad got no money. Deep dead broke. Scott can't even think about retirement. There ain't no retirement in the future for this man. He'll be working to the day he's died. Even when he read TV checks, he's gonna have to see working. Support Lizzie and her lifestyle. Because Lizzie is a is an appointment with uh Jasmine. They make us and she was like, you know, in jail, I used to make spa, shrimp fire rice. And the way I used to get the shrimp, I had to get, I had to get it from meth. I had to give meth to the people. I said, Scott, I can't with you, Scott. I'm done. And then we got to the final, final couple. You thought I forgot them. You thought I forgot the couple that we all talking about. Megan, Sarah, and Michael. <laughs> Anyhow, you know, you know, you know, you know, my, Sarah and Michael is getting on, getting popping, getting the juices popping, getting the, get the juices flowing. And and Sarah was like, <laughs> you know, we ain't got no protection. If we ain't, I ain't got no protection, if if it happens, it happens. <laughs> I said, Lord, so. So anyway, you know, and then Mike, and then Michael said something that, that still is amazing to me. You know, I have to have sex with Sarah because it's my mission. This is a mission for the greater good. This is a mission for the greater good. To, 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 so I can see my daughter. It's just a mission I have to do. And sometimes in life I can't make sacrifices, you know? But sometimes this is a mission, my brother. This is a mission. This is a mission I take very seriously. It's not about me. It's about the greater good. I said, my man, Michael, made me look like he was playing some, you know, some, some James Bond <laughs> movie stuff. You know, this is my mission, though. And he said it with a straight face. He's like, this is my mission, though. I said, You know, if you can't tell I love this show, I love this show. Oh, by the way, I believe we're reviewing Love and Hip Hop, Hip Hop Edition. I review, I'm going to review that as well. I saw that. I saw it before. I'm loving it. I just haven't had a chance to review it, but I will review it. Best believe that. But anyway, anyway, the next scene with Mike, Michael, and Sarah, and the daughter comes out to play meet uh, his, her dad for the first time because he hasn't seen his daughter in eight months. So he's wearing an old black t-shirt and he's talking about peekaboo, peekaboo, hey pretty lady, hey pretty lady, hey pretty lady, hey pretty lady. I was like, is that some, some child molester kind of nonsense because she's scared. Like, I don't, I'm like, I would be scared too. Hey pretty lady, hey pretty lady, hey pretty lady, hey pretty lady, hey, hey. So anyway, Mike is getting hurt and of course, Salvia, Salvia show us some. And somehow, in the next scene, he's, you know, they're having a father moment where the dog paints his nails. And of course, he FaceTimes Megan. Because Megan is on the, she's on the phone, cutting apples on him. <laughs> Why he ain't calling me. And then Michael does the con, he talks to Megan, talking about, hey, boo boo. Hey, boo boo. I love you. Hey. I want to see you, baby. I want you. Of course. Make us all talk about <laughs> Okay. I said, make it go get played. <laughs> I said, well, they, oh. But it, he got the phone from one of the producers. And, and it's going to be epic. And that pretty much just said the end, end of the episode. So that was pretty much it. And if I miss anything, you know what to do. Comment below. If you're not, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Come on, views. Like my views. Dislike my views. Anyway, this is your boy D. I am out. Have a good night, y'all. Bye.